What is up guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you guys something really really cool. So as you can see right now we traveled down to this beautiful location where I'm gonna shoot this video. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to pick up cars like Zack King. You probably know Zack King. He's like really known for his special effects videos and everything like that. And I'm also currently experimenting with a brand new intro. So make sure to let me know in the comments what you think of this intro and if I should use it from now on in every single video. So this is basically the intro and after that let's get started right guys so I'm gonna pick up a car that's gonna come right there so I would say let's get started So if you are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash that like button down below and I would say, let's get started. Alright guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 15, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to lift up cars like Zack King does. Now, we need a couple of things for this video. So, the main thing that we need is a little miniature car of the actual vehicle that we're going to lift up. So, you can find this one on eBay or Amazon for a few dollars and you want to make sure that you will that you will purchase or, you know, get the exact same car as you're going to be lifting up in real life. So, once we've done that, I'm going to explain to you how you want to record this so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and make sure to actually grab the car and when it is driving as you can see the car is approaching and then what you want to do is you want to make the car stop as you can see like that and then what you want to do is you want to pretend that you're picking up the car so what you want to do then is reach over like that and then someone else has to place the little miniature car into your fingers like this as you can see like that and it's not really important if the car is exactly, you know, as big as the as a little car because we're going to cut it that fast that you won't see it. So, what you need to do then is when someone placed the car in your fingers, the car in the background slowly has to drive off, as you can see like that. So once the car is disappeared, you want to pretend that you just picked up the car like this. You want to wait a few seconds so you have some time to cut. Boom, then you want to go ahead and pretend that you lift up the car. And then you want to, you know, play around with it, show it a little bit, you know, to the camera. And then what you want to do, it is pretty simple. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to hold the car right there. And then what you want to do is wait until the car is in the same position, like that. And then you want to have someone hold their hands below the car because you're going to drop it. So I'm going to move up a few frames, as you can see, like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the car, as you can see. And we're going to mask out this car in just a second so that it looks empty. Then it is going to fall from your fingers. And then you want to cut it and take away your arm slowly and then let the car, as you can see, drive off. So that's how you want to film it. So now that you've done everything, you want to drag it into Vegas and then we're really going to get started. So before this video starts, guys, let me know what you think of my new intro you saw at the beginning. And I would say, let's get it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut it right here. We're going to add in a nice fade in, as you can see, like this. So now that the car is approaching, I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. And then just before my fingers get into the frame, like that, you want to move up a few frames back, cut it, and then you want to go ahead and do it like this. When the car is placed into your hand, you want to let the car drive off and you want to cut that all out. So as you can see, we're going to wait until I'm going to pick it up like so, as you can see, like that. So we're going to cut away this part. So let's place it, you know, to each other and let's see what it looks like. As you can see, that looks really, really amazing. Now I'm going to show you guys how to place it back again. So we're going to cut it right here and then we're going to go cut to the end. We're going to cut away this part and then it's going to, we're going to drop it. Boom. And when the little car is over the bigger vehicle like that, you want to cut that away. So then what you want to do is you want to copy that and you want to take a frame of you holding the car in the air when the car is not there yet. As you can see, 
like this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this part. And then we're going to copy that one. Then we're going to create a new video track and we're going to paste it. And we're going to put that guy over it. So then the only thing we need to do is we need to mask out the car. So we're going to go ahead and click on the event pan crop icon of that top part. And what we want to do is click on mask at the bottom. And then we want to pick this rectangle tool. And then you want to basically mask it right here, as you can see. So as you can see, I'm holding the car. I just added a little bit more color correction. So if I move, if I mute this track, as you can see, you want to mask out the parts below the car so it looks like the car is not there. Because if I lower this, as you can see, the car is in fact there. So we want to just remove the car like that. And then when we drop it, as you can see, it looks like the car is now back in place. So guys, that's how to do it. And this is how to lift up cars like Zack King. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe down below. And make sure to also hit that like button if you find this video helpful. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for the continuous support. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously tomorrow. So I will see you guys in my next video.